Let's look at standard access control list on Cisco devices. First of all, um, standard access control lists are used to filter layer based on layer three network traffic. So IP addresses, not TCP, not UDP, none of that stuff. So where we have a, a diagram, um, this PC right here is sending traffic to the Seattle switch over here. Um, and the Seattle switch wants to prevent traffic from getting into this switch. Now there are a couple of options it has. It can block traffic on the outbound interface heading to the switch, or it could block traffic on the inbound interface heading into the router from the Portland side. Um, additionally, um, the other options it has is it can block inbound traffic from the switch going towards the PC, which would prevent communication back, but not necessarily communication to the switch, or it could put it on the outbound interface of the other side heading back to the port of the router. If it puts it on the outbound interface going to its own switch, then the traffic will still be able to ping the router itself, but not the devices inside. And if it puts it on the inbound, coming from the Portland router, then it will not be able to ping anything on the inside or on this cell router. So let's take a look at some of these things. Let's make a, a rule and try it out. So we are on the Seattle router. We first go into privilege mode with the enable command, and then we go into call T configure terminal to get into global configuration mode, and we create an access list. So we can do the access list command, we use question mark to see what our options are. We want to pick a standard access list, which is one through 99 as our number. So we're gonna pick one. And then we need to decide if we want to permit or deny. So we need a question marker here. We can see a permit, deny. We want to deny traffic right here. And then we have to pick the source. So we're going to pick, we use the keyword host, and we're going to identify the host that we're coming from, which happens to be this PC at 172.16.02. So let's go there and deny it. Host. 172.16.0.2. So the access list has been created, but it has not been applied anywhere. So our options are we can apply it on the inbound interface, or we can apply it on the outbound interface. We're going to apply it on the outbound interface first, just so you can get an idea of how difficult it might be to troubleshoot things. So we will go over here and apply it to FA00 outbound. So we do in FA0 slash zero. And we apply the access list using the IP access group. Access group group one. And we decide do we want to do inbound or outbound packets? And we want outbound. Now this rule applies immediately, so we can go test it out. We won't be able to tell much. Ping, first of all, we'll ping the inside interface of the router, 192.168.0.2, which ping just fine. Then we ping the outgoing interface for this router, 172.17.0.1. And for some reason, it responds. And the reason is because this is responding internally and it is not actually leaving the router, so it is not going out. If I tried pinging something on the inside, it would say destination net unreachable, but we don't know that the firewall is actually blocking us. I mean, we do right here, but we wouldn't know. The other option is on the router, we could block incoming traffic on fast ethernet 01, which would be connecting up to the Portland router. So we'll exit out here and FA0 slash one. We'll do IP access group one, and this is going to be inbound. So traffic coming in gets blocked. 
All right, now we go back to our device again, and we try pinging that 172.17.0.1, and we can see that now the destination network is unreachable. And the reason is, well, because we're getting blocked on the way in. If we try pinging the other interface, 192.168.0.2, we can't ping that one either because it's blocking inbound traffic before it gets into the router, so it cannot respond. And there we go, it's blocked. And this is how a standard access list works. You always want to put it as close to the destination as you can to make it still work.